Hi, I'm Ian Grade 9. And hi, I'm Josh in Grade 9. Welcome to today's assembly. We'll be starting off this assembly with devotions from Evan. Hey everybody, my name's Evan Terpstra, and today I'm going to be leading you in devotions. And the topic I want to talk about is worrying. And I think that this is such an important topic to address, especially amid the coronavirus pandemic, as we can often worry about all the little things of our lives and lose sight of God. The passage that I'm going to be reading from today is Matthew 6, verse 25 to 34. And it says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food, and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds of the air. They do not sow, or reap, or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you by worrying add a single hour to your life? And why do you worry about clothes? See how the flowers of the field grow. They do not labor or spin. Yet I tell you that not even Solomon in all of his splendor was dressed like one of these. If that is how God clothes the grass of the field, which is here today and tomorrow is thrown into the fire, will he not much more clothe you, you of little faith? So do not worry saying, what shall we eat? Or what shall we drink? Or what shall we wear? For the pagans run after these things and your heavenly father knows that you need them. But seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. I think that right now, this passage is exactly what we need to hear amid COVID. I, for myself, uh, right now I'm worried about finishing high school, getting what I need, going to university, getting the right job, and all the little things in my life that add up to this one great big worry that I think we all worry about. Every, it happens to everyone, it's unavoidable. And that is death. Everyone worries about death. It's one of the biggest fears. But when you really think about it, if we as Christians believe in eternal life, then death is just the gateway to being with God forever. So if right now we're in this earthly realm and this is, this is the work stage, this is where we are right now living to honor God so that eventually we can be with him in paradise. So if that's, if death just leads to God, then should not our one worry be living every day to honor God and stay true to him? I just want to add back to Eliza's devotional of having a solid foundation in God. I think that having that solid foundation is key for not worrying in our lives. Because if we, if we don't have that solid foundation, we're gonna be thrown around by everything. And everything is gonna be a worry, but if we have that unchanging rock that we can always rely on, the worries of this earthly world are going to just pass us by because we know that in the end, everything's gonna be okay. So I think the key to uh, just looking past all these worries is to be fixing our eyes on Christ. So in the hard times, think of God. Think of how he will sustain us, how he's there for us, and how he's never leaving us, and that God will be there whenever you need him. He's never, ever leaving your side, and that trusting in him, you'll be able to cast any worries of this world off, and you'll be fine. So I hope everyone has a fantastic week, and uh, enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Thank you, Evan. And now we're going to take it off to the art students to see what they got. Hello everybody, my name is Ms. Sunita and I'm the new art teacher here at TD Christian. I'm so excited to share what we've been up to in the art room today. At the beginning of the quadmester, we studied the art of illustration, experimenting with different methods, techniques, and applications within the realm of illustration. For their final projects, the grade 12s created a 3D Zen Tangle where they illustrated a creature or scene, a series of Zen Tangle patterns, and added a colored realistic aspect within their illustration. If you don't know what a Zen Tangle is, look closely at some of the grade 12s illustrations. You'll notice a variety of structured patterns or tangles that are created by a repetitive combination of dots, lines, shapes, and simple curves. The grade 12 strategically chose patterns based on the value of the pattern or the ratio of positive to negative space within their pattern to illustrate the illusion of shading. To see more of what we've been up to in the art room, check out our Instagram at TD Christian Art. Thank you for sharing that amazing art.
now an announcement from the presented leadership class. Well, first, let's get to William's word of the week. William's word of the week. Crowdsource. Definition. Verb. Obtain information or input into a particular project by getting help from a large number of people, typically via the internet. In a sentence, wouldn't it be great if someone would crowdsource for Christina's wish? Crowdsource. For the 2020 21 yearbook, we want to crowdsource. We need you to share your photos art, poetry, and classwork, and more, to tell the school story, one quad at a time. Crowdsource. This has been William's Word of the Week. Hey everyone. We're having our first ever cohort competitions. Make sure to dress up. Points will be awarded to the cohort with the best theme. That includes face paint, costumes, be creative. So bring your spirit and your top energy because you guys are going to be playing some awesome games. I hate to be that person, but masks and social distancing will be enforced. Be prepared to do those or else your team will be disqualified. Get out! Woo! Woo! This is so much fun! <laughs> Well, hey, it's Mr. Dykeshorn here again, and I just want to thank Josh and Eve for their fabulous job hosting, and also repeat the fact that we are always looking for new hosts for our uh, weekly assemblies here. I also want to highlight a few things that you can get involved in here at school, despite the fact that we are in the pandemic. So one of the ways that you can do that is going to be through the cohort competitions that the ladies just explained. Uh, I also want you to make sure that you're keeping an eye out in the announcements for things like a ping pong tournament and a three point competition uh, that that class hopes to also run. Uh, I just want to again highlight a few other things. We have a Bible study starting that will be student led so I'm just kind of helping them get organized uh, where they hope to run a program potentially called Alpha which you may have heard about but there is an Edsby group called student led Bible study that you can find out more information on. Also make sure you keep checking the announcements for other things that are happening like Linguistics Club and Writers Guild from last week and hopefully some games clubs that will, might be happening soon. Well, last but not least, the best way that you can get involved is by coming up with your own ideas. Uh, we would be more than willing to support you as staff at, at, here at school, but you coming up with different clubs that you can run safely despite a pandemic are going to be uh, things that you're probably more interested in anyway. So that's it for me. And the last thing we're going to do here in the assembly before we sign off is actually check out your cohort pictures from last week. So thanks for your uh, help on these and enjoy them now.
that's it for today's assembly. Thanks for watching. If you want to host any future assemblies, message Mr. Dykstar and on SB.